Congress expressing reluctance to contribute troops to the peacekeeping effort. The Secretary General of NATO, the President is speaking with him, the Secretary General of uh, NATO this afternoon. Toby, that's uh, there's verbal support and there's boots on the ground. I'm not commenting on a, on a negotiation before it happens. Can we do this without them? I'm not commenting. If NATO's out, would the President reconsider UN peacekeepers? I do not have an answer. Can you point us towards the subject you're commenting on? Can you find out where counsel put the DOD analysis? CJ Craig's role be the same as Leo McGarry. Title, parking spot, gym membership. She's not coming into this with any kind of national security experience. The President has a flock of, of national security professionals prepared to address his questions and the chief of staff. But we're about to stage a military action. That yeah, a military ground. incursion into the, into the most entrenched conflict on the planet. C.J. Craig's not the only one working without a net. Oh, oh, no, no. Every confidence. You just said nobody has experience with this kind of military incursion. The Pentagon has experience, as do the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the NSC. But in the event they all lose their way, the president can always send C.J. Craig to... Ramallah to swat at suicide bombers with her purse. Nobody in the portfolio? Oh, good lord. My purse! Paige Carroll, get him the hell out of there! Who has the quote? I got the president can send CJ Craig to Ramallah to swat at suicide bombers with her purse. You don't have to brief. You're better with the written material. We can flood him with press releases. How'd it go? Fine. Missed it. Well, there'll be others. I'm thinking about the substance abuse initiative. What do you say we send CJ to Compton, have her swat at drug lords with her purse? It was an ambush. They love an opportunity like this. If they could dance around me with a pig's head on a pike, they would. How's it go? 